affiliates, thank you so much for joining me for another APCW Zoom meeting. We've done these as a way to get through the pandemic and keep you informed and, and keep some face-to-face -face virtual contact going. But all that may be coming to an end soon because I am planning to head to London next month. And when we get there, I'm going to be uh, seeing some old friends like Naomi here who is joining us from Clarion Gaming. Na Naomi, thank you so much for uh, for taking the time to come on and say hello. You're so welcome. Thanks for inviting me. It's nice to see you again. Yes, you know, um, here we are uh, about, I think, three or four weeks from the event, and I'm starting to get really excited, like uh, like in years gone past, but, but even more so because this will be special for me. The last time I was at an event was London, in early 2020 so it's been a couple of years but we're getting back together we're going to be face to face again um tell us about this event i mean i i'm noticing across the whole of iGaming this this positive trend of people's attitudes and wanting to get back to conferences and and industry growth Yes, I think I think it's safe to say that everyone is really excited about coming back together and something that we really noticed we ran IGB live in autumn of last year in Amsterdam and the show received a really overwhelmingly positive response from from visitors from attendees and from customers from sponsors and it really delivered in terms of its sort of business goals but just as importantly, because it was the first event in two years where it brought people back together face to face, I think it was just an amazing opportunity to almost reestablish the fact that people do want to meet and connect face to face. And this particular sector, the iGaming affiliation sector, is a really face to face focused sector, I think. It's very much about relationship building, building partnerships, being able to connect with people. And to be able to do that in person made a huge difference. And we've seen all of that good will, if you like, on both sides sort of continue for IGB Affiliate London. And so what we're seeing now is a really all signs pointing towards, you know, 30% bigger in terms of the actual size of the floor space and the sponsors, et cetera, about 100% up in terms of year on year when people register, registering. So we've got a good show for people. And I think it's going to be great to host everyone in London again. It's been too long. It, it has. I'm glad you brought up the 30% increase. I knew you had more visitors coming, more sponsors coming, uh, but 30%, considering how big the event has been in the past, that's that's a significant number. And of course, some of the challenges associated with the last event were the, uh, the COVID restrictions, but I understand that those restrictions are not going to be a problem for people visiting London this time. Yes, I think that London is very much, um, I, you know, I hesitate to use the word normal because perhaps, you know, life's been quite challenging in the last couple of years, but equally, it is pretty much back to normal in terms of things like logistics and transport. So there are no real restrictions anymore in London to get in and out of the event is easy. There's no requirements to wear masks inside anymore. Um, so it does feel like the, the corner has turned. I think in that sense, Excel has hosted around 300 exhibitions this year or will be hosting 300 exhibitions. They've, you know, they've, they're going to be hosting some really large ones, including, of course, ICE and IGB. And it's, it's great to be able to see that we can host people. We proved in that sense in Amsterdam that we could bring people together with having to work with some of those restrictions, but not having to do that is is a breath of fresh air really for the visitor experience as well just makes things much more you know sort of pleasant and easy and much more something like what you'd expect from a from a face-to-face -face event no i i completely understand that just as a, an average citizen having to go out and and put on a mask or or uh have all these uh restrictions in place when i've i've traveled like last year when i went to a conference in las vegas uh it is a, a big hassle. And whereas those are not completely removed, especially while you're traveling, it is, it is amazing that we can actually walk around the show. And if we if people don't want to wear a mask, then, then there's no restriction in place for that. I, I am correct on that, right? I mean, I don't want yes, to- Yes, you are. Yes, no, you are correct. You are, you are. And it does, it just, you know, just just in terms of being able to look somebody in the eye and clearly, you know, connect with them in a, in a, in a much more normal way, which we haven't been able to do for quite a long time. You know, that is a really special thing to be able to do. No, you're absolutely correct. And and I, I'm 
you know, really looking forward to actually being able to see people's smirks and sarcasm when I speak to them on camera because I'm just being me. Uh, let me tell you something, though. Um, I, I think I read that you guys are going to have some pretty intriguing sessions this year, uh, including things on the emergence of the U.S. market and some some, especially in regards to, since there's so much sports betting in America right now, some of the mobile aspects of the American market. Yes, we're going to be doing quite a few sessions. I think the US market is quite an important focus. We, we certainly, at the moment, the, the European affiliation market is clearly sort of a bit further ahead in terms of its maturity, but we know that it's becoming something really important as a digital channel in the US. And so we're going to be focusing on mobile marketing specifically in the US. And then we'll also be doing some more general tactical uh, sort of sessions, I guess, SEO disasters, a World Cup SEO special and some international dig digital marketing and sort of localized audiences as well. OK, and, and finally, as as a father of four beautiful daughters, I understand that you're actually doing a, a new initiative, a new a new project. I, I hope I get it right. You're launching something called Ascend, which is a mentoring program for women in the industry. Yes, I think it's, this is something that's quite close to my heart, obviously. And I have I have a, a daughter, a 14 year old football playing daughter. Um, and I partly felt like we wanted to do something for the industry when I sort of certainly started out in in the industry that I'm in. There wasn't really very much in the way of mentorship that was formalized. And I didn't have many people to really sort of look up to and learn from, really. And the idea of being able to, to do something for this sector as well was, was something that we couldn't really afford to pass up. So the Ascend Mentorship Programme will be for those women in the industry and in iGaming affiliation that want to uh, learn. We want to connect those sort of younger people up and coming into the industry with people that perhaps have been around a little bit longer. And to be honest, you know, it's upwards mentoring as well as, you know, downwards mentoring or whatever. It's really we can learn from, from everybody. So the idea is to, we've launched the programme, it's called Ascend, and then we'll run something at the event to launch it officially on the show floor. But we're very much going to do it in connection and sort of collaboration with our, with our customers. And, and we're going to create something together to make sure we deliver something really tangible that people want and get something out of it in terms of advice and mentorship. Wow, that, that's really cool. I, I think that's amazing that in addition to providing uh, news and and shows where people get to interact that you you go beyond that uh, you know Clarion takes a step beyond that and says what can we do to add value to our industry that's that's really amazing so I, I look forward to talking with you more about that in London and uh, maybe going into a little bit in depth and and just seeing what happens so yeah. kudos to that. Thank you so much for staying late at the office and for taking the time to talk to me. I know that we live, you know, eight hours apart. Sometimes it can be a little challenging, but uh, I look forward to seeing you next month. And uh, thank you so much for coming on. Thank you. Honestly, thank you for letting me come and have a chat with you. It's been great. Thank you. Absolutely. Take care.